Hello YouTube, this video is for beginners. I have a few videos up for beginners, but the first one I ever made, I kind of made a few mistakes and I left a lot of people wondering about what the next step will be after making a ring. So um, I apologize to my advanced tatters, <laughs> but um, this is for beginners, so uh, let's begin. So we have our needle and we're gonna thread our needle. And sometimes it takes a minute to thread your needle. And we're gonna leave a tail of about six inches just for this, you know, just for the purpose of this video. And we're gonna make a simple ring with three picos and I have a I had a few questions about uh, about picos and double stitches so uh, the way you you do a double stitch it consists in two parts so this is how I grab my thread and you go under and you hold your thread with your with the thread coming from your needle, pulling right here, you're gonna grab that and hold it against your needle, just like that. And you're gonna go under and don't let go this finger from the needle. So that's our first part of our double stitch. Now we're gonna do the second part. We're gonna go, the first part we went under, the second part we're gonna go over and under, hold on. Yes. So the first part we went like that, the second part we're gonna go like that and close our finger. So we have this thing across my finger. And you're gonna go in that and just pull until they're together. So that's a double stitch. You see we have two loops together and that makes one double stitch. It has actually, I never thought about this, but you know, it says it in its name, double. I guess it's because you have two little loops. Double loop, right? Double stitch. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, we're gonna do three double stitches, a pico, and three double stitches. Okay, a lot of patterns are different. You know, you just have to follow your patterns. So I will put a abbreviation so you can see how in the written part uh, patterns how a double stitch is abbreviated. So we have one double stitch two three four oops I did four it's okay okay I was just looking at my hands and my camera. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do a pico. And a pico is a loop. It's kind of like a, a loop on our needle. So the way you do that is you go, like you're gonna do a double stitch. And it's, you'll see. Okay, so you go, you grab your thread with your three fingers, go under, and then you, you don't pull it all the way down. You hold it right there. So this is your pickle right here. And we just did the first half of our double stitch. So now we're gonna do the second half, but you have to hold it, don't let it go. So you go like that. And now we have this loop, this little piece of thread hanging, right? So that's what we have. 
and we made one double stitch, which we're gonna count as our double stitch. So all you have to do to have a pico is slide your double stitch next to our first set of double stitches, just like that. Now you have a pico. That's a very big pico, but it's okay. So now we want to have the same amount of picots, I mean of double stitches in this side, right? So we did four over here, one, two, three, four. Now we want to have four in this side of our pico. So we did one, right? That's one. Now we need three more. So two, three, four. And you can make a, the pico as, as like big, small. Okay, so uh, we're gonna make one more. One more pico. So remember, you hold it right there. Okay, and we did half of our double stitch. I'm gonna finish that double stitch and slide our double stitch. So we have one. We need four more. One, two, three, four. Now let's make one more pico. Okay. So hold it under, finish your stitch, your double stitch and slide. Okay. So we did one double stitch. Now we need three more for a total of four. Three, four. So now we have all our double stitches with our picots on our needle. So now what you're gonna do is just start pushing your needle up towards your stitches you're gonna pull the needle through very slow and do not pull it all the way through. You see this loop right here? Okay, you have a loop. You do not wanna lose that loop when you're making a ring because if you lose that loop, you're gonna end up with a chain. So we have our loop right here we're gonna put our needle under the loop, just like that. And then we're gonna start pulling, pulling until our ring closes. See? Now we have a, a ring. And depending on your pattern, it might say don't reverse work. It might say reverse work. For this video, I'm gonna reverse my work. So I'm just flipping it over, and then you get a teardrop on the top, and then you, okay? So my ball thread is in the back, and my tail, the one that is thread, and my needle is in the front, just like that. Now we're gonna make a chain. Okay, so how you do a chain is, it's the same thing, double stitches, picots, but you have to put your needle in front of your ring, just like this. Just hold it like that. Okay, it, at the beginning of your chain, you have to do that. Okay, so let's start with the same amount of double stitches three double stitches, that's one, see that? I slide it all the way, all the way by my ring. Now I'm gonna finish it. There, one. Slide it, slide it, 
two. Three, one more, four. Now we're gonna make a pico. Hold it and slide. We did one that was stitch. We need three more. Two, three, four, okay, we're going to make one more pico, and slide, we made one double stitch, we need three more, two, three, four, okay, so now, what I like to do is put my needle in front of my, my ring, just like that. And then I hold it. And then I start pushing the needle and pulling it through my stitches. And this time, since we did a chain, you don't have to hold the loop. Just pull it all the way through. See that? And it, and it just curls automatically to the right. Your chains always curls to the right. Okay? And then if your, if your pattern says reverse, you reverse, you go under, tie a little knot and then if you're gonna make another ring you put your needle right on top of the end of your sh your chain and then you continue doing another ring I hope this video was useful to you I know I had a lot of questions and I confused some people about if you count that double stitch that comes after the pico and you know, just little things like this. And I apologize if I did. Uh, please view this video. Let me know what you think. And I hope I answer all your questions. Um, have fun chatting. Bye.